Hi everyone, Cindy Squirrel here. Well, it is quarter to two on Friday, January 20th, and the batteries went into float at one o'clock. So for 45 minutes, I have been equalizing the batteries. And you can see that there's 1,539 watts coming in. It's a really nice day. Now to equalize the batteries, um, I had never heard of it before. And it's uh, your inside, inside your lead acid batteries, there's plates and those plates, it's sort of like a tea kettle. They get all that uh, calcium or whatever on it. They all get gummed up. So you equalize them. And what equalizing does is more or less burn that off. Um, but when you buy batteries, I didn't do this and lesson learned uh, get the stats that go with them the information about the batteries and these batteries it says to equalize them weekly and if you don't do as they say you'll notice by the end of the week you don't hold your charge overnight um, so you have to equalize them to get better performance out of them but it's a nice sunny day today, and I've got a few chores I want to do. I did a load of laundry this morning, and you can see that my tote is getting sort of empty. And I have marked, if the water was up to there, it would be one minute. If it was down to there, it's six minutes. If it was there, it's 11 minutes. So I'm going to shoot for eight minutes. Let's go for a walk down to the generator and turn the water on for eight minutes and fill the tote. What are you doing, girl? As you can see, it's beautiful out here. Now, I guess I'll walk to the solar shed. You can see the, the panels there. And the new ones that we added, we added the straight up and down ones. And those are going to be good at 4 o'clock in the afternoon when the direct sun is off of these ones. And when I'm equalizing the batteries or running the generator, you have to have the door open. Otherwise, it will get way too sweaty in here. And... Uh, I always crack the lid on the batteries. And uh, let me just go in here. You can hear them boiling. Do you hear them boiling? Hear them gurgling away, cleaning off. All their plates and it says the equalize is pending which means it's on and uh, yeah like I said we have the door propped open because you don't want the fumes there now let's go for a walk. Now remember we brought the um, the generator a lot closer so I don't have to go for quite the walk. I just have to go over there a little bit. Where are you girl? You left me. Oh, well let's see now. Are any of these tracks fresh? So we had brought the uh, generator house 1,100 feet closer to the home. And this one, all it does is run the pump for the well. And there we are. And where did that darn dog go? gonna jump out of somewhere and scare me I know she is
What do you smell? A rabbit? So I set the timer for eight minutes. And there's the well house. And there's the house. And I don't know if you remember that I had to walk all the way down this big hill. And Bob didn't like me doing that in the winter time. By myself. Oh. Just a beautiful day. Bob has it set up here that it's always plugged in. And you're not supposed to turn a generator on with a load on it. So you use the breaker. So the breaker, he put a red mark and a green mark for me. So it's down, which is off. So you turn the generator on, you wait until it gets up to the 240 volts and then flip the breaker. So use the breaker. Um, so you're not starting it and shutting it off with a load on it. Now, the one up at the solar panels, of course, it is directly into the solar system and the system, it, does that for me you can start it and it won't turn it won't let the generator kick in and supply hydro until the generator is up to the the right watts and that now it was january 1924 when my great uncle Tomps morden got off the train in cochrane and picked this place to homestead. Now, it's only minus 13 today, which is really unusual. I've seen it minus 40s, minus 50s. I just can't imagine setting up a tent, arriving here today, because it was January 1924, so 99 years ago. Can't imagine setting up a tent and starting to cut down timbers and that to make a house. For one, Daisy would be too cold, wouldn't you? Hey, good girl. Oh, just a little farther. <laughs> what a good girl. Okay, so a little under the line. Could have put it on for a couple more minutes, but that there will last me a good week by myself here. So in another week, I have to go for a walk. Okay, so the batteries are done equalizing and now it's gone back into absorption mode and then hopefully float. Um, let's see what time it is. Let's see if I have. I might have enough daylight. It's only 2.14. So 3.14 will be my optimum. So if I'm not, if that's not in float in an hour, then I might not get float, but I will turn the generator on and will get float so that equalization and all that isn't for naught. But there you go. There's a day in my life. <laughs>